Many people say that the Bible says to not judge. But they place things in the wrong context. Whatever you read, you have to place things in context. Just don't repeat the same things that you hear from most people because usually it is placed out of context. So let's go to Matthew 7, 1 through 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Okay. So judge not that ye be not judged. Okay. So don't judge. Verse 2. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye met, it shall be measured to you again. So whatever level I judge you at, I am going to be judged in the same way. So if I judge you at a level 10, I am going to be judged at a level 10 as well. So you are going to reap whatever you sow. Okay, verse 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? So how can I correct you when I am in sin? How can I tell you to not steal, but I steal? How can I tell you not to have sex before marriage, when I am having sex before marriage? How can I preach to anyone when I am in sin? Which many people do. They are in sin, but they are preaching and ministering to people, which makes no sense. <laughs> so the only way that you can correct me is if you are following the rules and regulations of the Bible. If you are not... You need to sit down somewhere. Get out of my face because you are doing wrong. You are doing wrong, but you are trying to correct someone. Makes no sense. Okay, verse 4. <laughs> Get out of sin. But you are in sin too, right? Well... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know. <laughs> Don't worry about me. You are in sin. <laughs> okay, verse 4. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye. So this is saying the same thing as verse 3. Correct yourself first before you come at me. Don't tell me that I need to change, but you have so much sin in your life. You are a hypocrite, which the Bible teaches against. Okay, number five. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine eye, or thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. So let me I'll make this a different color. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Okay. Let's make it blue. Okay. Here we go. So thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye. So that is saying the same thing as verse, let me see. Verse 3 and 4. So let's go to the second part in blue. And then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. So this is saying I can correct you when I am out of sin. I can correct you when I am following the rules and regulations of the Bible. There is a difference between insulting and correcting a person. What is an insult? You are ugly. You are stupid. You are worthless. You are never going to amount anything, amount to anything in life. You are no good. You are so dirty and so stinky. And those are insults. 
That is a sin. That is wrong. What is correcting? Hey, the Bible says you are not supposed to have sex before marriage. The Bible says that, hey, you are not supposed to get drunk or do these sins. That is correcting. Insulting is not the same thing as correcting. If a person insults you, that is wrong. If a person corrects you, they are doing right by the Bible. So, if you only read the first verse, let me highlight it. <laughs> let me see. Let me make it green. So if you only read this, judge not that ye be not judged. The Bible says to not judge, so you can't tell me what I am doing wrong. That doesn't make any sense. That beats the whole purpose of why Jesus came to earth and taught people right from wrong. So why didn't... <laughs> this is why you need to place things in context because if you don't you are going to say things that makes no sense so I can correct you when I am following the rules and regulations of the Bible if I am not then I can't say anything to anyone I have to correct myself first but if I am out if I am not sinning then I can correct you do you believe that Jesus Christ is going to come down to you because some people believe that hey only God can say something to me do you believe that God is going to come down out of the clouds come to your house hey you really need to stop sinning. <laughs> Get out of here. God works through people. I don't know why you think that you are... That is so arrogant or conceited to think that way. Only God can judge me. He is using people to correct you. Foolish, very foolish stuff, man. So I don't want to hear this. The Bible says to not judge because you can correct if you are following the rules and regulations of the Bible. I can see if the person is in sin and they are trying to tell you what to do, then that is wrong. So when people say that foolish stuff, the Bible says to not judge, correct them. Show them this video if you want to, your choice. <laughs> so here we go. I really hope you all understand this, please. Go through it as many times as you have to. I am showing you what the Bible is saying. I'm showing you. Hopefully my picture is not in the way. I'm showing you. <laughs> and, I, and I highlighted verse 5 and verse 1. Green, blue, orange, or peach, I guess. So really take heed to this. Really. God bless. <laughs>